So now that we know that we keep track of various uh, fielding statistics or, or stats for players while they're out playing defense, and th these would be things like putouts and assists, and, and the third one would be, be errors. And so usually you wouldn't hear uh, somebody compare one player, the number of putouts one player has to another. Certainly you can do it, but, but a lot more often what we'll do is use these three categories to, to figure out something called fielding percentage. Fielding percentage. And so that's what I want to talk about. How do we, how do we figure out uh, fielding percentage? So the first thing that we are going to do, and in, in, it involves these three stats here, is we'll take the number of putouts and we're going to add that to the number of assists you know, that, that a player has, and certainly we could define this. This could be a, a team's fielding percentage or, or an individual player's uh, fielding percentage. And so, so we take that and we would divide it by, by his, his number of putouts plus assists and plus errors. And so this will give us, you know, the percentage of, uh, of, of plays where he completed it successfully compared to, you know, the total number of, of uh, uh, plays where he was, he was given the opportunity to, 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 to put, a, put a batter out or, or to help do that. So some, and sometimes you would hear this bottom, bottom uh, number putouts plus assists plus errors you'll hear this called total chances and so just to do a, a quick run through uh, I went out and found a guy uh, just picked somebody at random so I, I got a guy named James Quirk and so he played for the Kansas City Royals and in, in 1980 James had 21 putouts he had 57 assists and he had six errors and, and he was a, a third baseman I think so 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 we, we take then let's use a different color he, he will take 21 plus 57 and then we divide this of course by by his his total chances, which would be 21 plus 57 plus six, and so let's let's do that. So 21 plus 57, and we get 78. So, so let's say this equals uh, 78. And we divide this by his total chances, which would be we would just then add the number of errors, so six, so eighty-four. And then and then this would then equal. So we take seventy-eight and divide it by eighty-four, and we would get uh, 0.9285. So 0.9 we'll say we'll say nine. So we round it off to, to three digits. So his fielding percentage for uh, 1980, James's fielding percentage at third base for 1980 was 0.929. So that means that he he uh, in over you know not 90 percent of the times. He touched the ball and, and made an attempt, or, or to, to either put somebody out or, or to assist in, in the put out. He was he was able to succeed in that over 90% of the time.